Hey, Sentry. Why are all those crows gathering in the trees outside? Yeah, I've been noticing that same thing a lot lately. Let's figure it out. So I did some digging, and turns out there's been a lot of research into crow behavior. Mostly because people see these large groups of birds as pests and want to control where they are. The American crow is an interesting bird because it is very territorial, but in the winter it forms these large roosts. Many other birds do one or the other. Most of the year crows exhibit group territorial behavior, which means that the crows have a small group of friends and they hang out around the same area all the time. Usually the groups are four to six crows. But during fall and winter months, crows tend to roost in these large gatherings. They travel to a distant common area during sunset and then spend a lot of time away from their own territories. This can be miles away and the gatherings can be 10,000 to 15,000 birds large. Turns out we don't really know how these local gatherings relate to the large roosts. And we don't even really know why these large roosts happen. There are many theories, each of them with subtle differences. A lot of the theories are around crows finding food. Some scientists say crows simply gather where there's food and they just tolerate being around other birds. Some scientists suggest that the crows simply see each other, they hear these large gatherings of birds, and they follow because they're curious to see what's up, to see if there's food. Some people suggest that unsuccessful hungry birds go to the roost in the evening, so in the morning they can follow other birds to see where they're finding food. Also, staying in these large groups might help crows stay warm, because staying close to other birds helps keep the cold away during winter. It's also safer to be in a large group, because when there's thousands of birds around, it's less likely for a single bird to get hunted. Also, it's much safer to be in the middle of a large group than near the edge or alone. Some scientists even suggest that the birds go out and recruit other birds to join the roost, so they can all share these common benefits. In short, crows are social creatures, just like people, and there are many benefits in social behavior. So next time when you see a group of crows flocking together, small or large, think about why they might be there. Are there food? Are they interacting? You might be surprised by what you see. If you have any questions about birds, you can send them to me on Twitter at BigPurpleSentry. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Also, check out my previous video about bald eagles. Talk to you again soon.